Hi everybody, this is Kefren. Today I'm gonna show you how to uh, overclock your video card. For this video, I'm gonna use uh, my 1070 from AVGA. It's the uh, SC version, the first one. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You will need two software to uh, do the overclocking. First of all, I'm using MSI Afterburner. So just Google it and download the software, it's free. And for benchmarking, I'm going to use Uni Engine Valley Benchmark. Again, it's a free benchmark tool, so just download this one. The first thing that you want to do, you don't want to overclock your video card. Uh, you just want to run a, a benchmark with your stock uh, core uh, megahertz and mem memory uh, clock too. Uh, because you want to know like how many points you're doing in the benchmark. So you just click run. The benchmark will open. And after that, you will need to click top left here in the screen uh, to run the benchmark. You will see that the benchmark will uh, run 18 steps. And after the step, you will see a result, uh, for example, 6,000 six, uh, points. Make sure that you uh, whatever, take a picture of your result, save it or write it and uh, remember it because it's really important because sometimes you will overclock your card. You will not see any artifact or uh, any freeze. But you will see that your result uh, is less than your stock card, for example. It's because your video card is not really uh, working well with the overclock that you just did. So really important, always when you uh, do an overclock, test it in the benchmark to make sure that you're improving your video card. So let's quit the benchmark. We will go to MSI Afterburner. The um, overclocking that I will show you guys, we will not touch to the uh, core voltage. Uh, core voltage, you can touch it if you want, if you know how to use it. But this one is really dangerous. You can burn your card. Uh, for me, I'm gonna just use power limit uh, with the temp limit and uh, we will touch the core clock and the memory clock. So first of all, first step that you need to do it's to max the power limit. So you want to give more um, uh, more power to your video card if it needs it with the, for the core clock and the memory clock. The first one that you want to touch is the core clock. You, you want to overclock this one. You don't want to overclock both in the same time because if you see any issue like restarting your computer, freeze or artifact in your benchmark, you want to know which one is co causing the issue. So my recommendation here is start with the core clock and like do some like 31, 31 uh, megahertz uh, and apply, do your benchmark. Look at your result, great, it's better than stock. Go back to core, again, do another 30. Press OK, go back to the valley benchmark, again test, etc. Until you find the proper core voltage. When you did it, now you have to go to memory clock. Overclock the memory clock, same thing again, go with something like 30. It's, it's really tough to move it in <laughs> this slider. Uh, right now I have 41. Uh, test your benchmark, etc. until you crash or see artifact. The other thing that you can test, you can lower a little bit your core and test a little bit more your memory because sometimes both combination you will see some, uh, you will crash or whatever freeze. So make sure that you're finding the, like, the sweet spot between both. The other thing that you need to monitor is your uh, degree here. Uh, the degree of the video card will depend to a lot of different like uh, factor if you want to say like that. Uh, first of all, your house, if, <laughs> are you a place that it's really hot, cold, etc. Uh, your case, uh, so all your fan, the ventilation in your case, if it's good or not. Uh, so this one would really depend. For me, my max temp on my card, I want to go over 70 honestly with an NVIDIA card. On my AMD RX 580, I'm going with 76, 77, no problem. But my, with my NVIDIA, honestly, I, I never go uh, over 70 uh, degrees. Uh, if you're not sure what is the maximum temperature, just Google your video card and go to the NVIDIA website. They will tell you uh, what is the maximum um, degrees that your uh, GPU can support. Really important to know, you don't want to go too high because may, you can damage uh, uh, your card or the longevity of your video card. If you don't like the degree that you see and you want to be a bit lower, you can change the fat fan speed. Right now it's at auto. I can move it manually, but the thing that you want to do is click here to setting, go to fan, say enable user defined software, 
and now you can change the, the curve of your fan. So for an example, you don't want to go at 70, you want to be under 70. So you can be really more aggressive with your fan. So sorry here. So like this. So for an example, I'm saying like at 75, I want to be at 79% of my maximum speed. So now, uh, for an example, when I will be at 60, 61, you will see my uh, fan increase a lot with the fan speed. The only issue with that is you will hear a lot of noise coming from your fan or whatever your computer. So uh, yeah, you can definitely just test it and uh, move your curve um, depending what temperature that you want when you will do your overclocking. So that's about it for this. After that, some people are asking me questions like, ah, oh, I can't change my core voltage, it's locked. It's because you need to unlock it. MSI Afterburner really want like to make sure that you know what you're doing. So if you want to unlock it, click on settings and click unlock voltage control and you press OK. So now voltage control will be a percentage. So it's not a, like a, some kind of offset like you when you uh, overclock a CPU like 0.05, stuff like that. It's really a percentage. If you're doing that, make sure that you're reading guide on the internet and look at people that are uh, have the same card than you and make sure that you're doing the proper stuff because you can definitely like burn your video card. Okay, so really important, look at this, look at some guide, look at your GPU temp too. And a lot of people sometimes are changing the cooling on the video card, they're pulling like water block and on it. So that's why they're moving the core voltage. So uh, make sure that you know what you're doing because it will for sure destroy your video card. So that's about it guys. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me whatever your GPU and some kind of, if you have issue with MS Afterburner or even with the benchmark or other question and I will answer. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Peace guys.